up. Pull this thing up. That yeah. thing. Look at that top left one. Top oh, left. That's a fuck? fucking koala. Bro, what? that looks yeah, like a, a bad bear. That's like that, not a jazz bear. That looks. That does not look like a. No, take that thing away from the kids, <laughs> bro. I was about to say. Oh no, he's got a baby. Ladies and gentlemen, mm, mm, mm. we're back again. Back with another one. And we're doing a, we're recording this on a different day because you're going to uh, Gay Week in Miami, right? Yeah, I'm going to Gay Week in New York, as a matter of fact. Gay. What I've are decided, you doing in New York? It's just family stuff. Okay. Um, mom graduation, uh, and the whole family's going to be there. Nice. So we're just going to be there for a couple days. I hate it. As you know, I hate traveling. I absolutely despise it. I don't like leaving my house. Mm, Why we shoot the podcast in here as opposed to anywhere else? We have wonderful guests today. Let's start off with that yes. really quickly. Ted Nevison, Jarvis Johnson, the building. Hey. When you're with hey. us, you're gold. Hey, that's true. I don't Ooh. even say that. I, what do you say? Uh, I always fuck I it say? up. I don't even fucking remember. I have to do the whole. You just like make to something up. And it's just like say the it to it's him. like the alphabet where no, it's no, like what letter like, comes yeah. after. He says something like that though. He says yeah. something along something those close, lines. Close I thought you were doing like a Olive Garden. Yeah, when you're with us, your family. Yeah, when you're here, your family. You know Olive Garden. I love Olive Garden. Um, uh, but if you're watching this, you're. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's what he. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Well, That's anyway, good. we got wonderful guests today. We are substituting the weak links of the podcast with some <laughs> actual, actually talented, funny, clever people. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. right. We've cut so them who out. Who are they? We've trimmed the fat. Oh. Yeah, we've trimmed the fat. Austin's gone. Cutie Cinderella's gone. Basically Cutie's an episode of Fear and Malden. Yeah. Ba Ooh, you know, that's a deep cut. Throwback. Which, which literally, like, Cutie wasn't even cut because she's bad. We just cut her because she's a woman. Mm. Ugh, gross. Yeah. We, Dude, the collective... <laughs> Hmm, that we all did there as if it was like a psychological deep cut that he just said. Yeah, wow. just destroyed her in the marketplace yeah. of ideas. That's what I like to do. I'm a Reddit guy. I like debating women in the marketplace of ideas about why they're debating me instead of being in the kitchen and stuff like that. That's a big ass fly. Holy shit. Sometimes when I see a fly like that, which is for those of you That's the listening of at home, Shelley it's like that you. big. It's like, how did you grow so large? Like, how much shit did you eat? Uh, mm. Dude, one time there was, you know, that pe that period last year where it was like raining for like a week or something yes, in LA, yeah. and it was like people's powers was going out and stuff like that. Yeah. On my, it, it seemed like the apocalypse to me because on my trash bins, uh, walking back into my apartment, I was like, I saw a bunch of stuff moving on there, and I was like, what is that? Oh, Raccoon. maggots! Oh. oh, the trash bin oh. was covered in white, grimly little. Maggots. Grimble. That was a, a, that was a common thing in my neighborhood growing up. Like really? we had like neighbors toward the end of the street, like like many houses down from us, but would constantly like not use trash bags and shit like that. Oh, gosh. and then they would just there would just be tons of maggots oh crawling my. out of the. Oh. This is probably some sort of trigger warning. I don't know what for, but it's gross. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that's apparently the precursor to a fly. Yes, is a maggot. Yeah, yeah, which Wait, I didn't, really? which I didn't know yeah. until I until I was like, "What is a?" Like, Wait, I, I thought I didn't know that either. Yeah, the question that's, where do you think that's flies sort of, came from? Just like eggs, maybe. I don't <laughs> know. That's really funny. Like little baby eggs. No, they're little like, slimy. Like if yeah. you Google, it's gonna be nasty. But like the yeah, those little slimy guys turn into flies. Yeah, yeah I used Bars to think that also. they specifically were like, "Oh, these are the body eating bugs." I think most avian bugs, most flight worthy bugs, do In have a metamorphosis. Mm. Yeah. Well, Gross. moths, butterflies, Gross. flies, wasps. We Locusts. should stop that. Bees. We should cut that out. What? I'm saying just cut it out. No more flying bugs. <laughs> oh, you're not saying that part of the podcast. You just say eliminate all flying bugs. Oh, yeah. No, I wasn't saying, like, let's edit that out. I'm okay. saying let's edit out flies from existence. From existence. Got, oh, it, got, okay. it, got it. Got He's it, got too it. content brain. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm thinking. That's ugh, I, God. yeah. No, I think that I'm sure there's some utility to it. Some fucking all flying bugs, you say? Offline them. All flying bugs. All flying bugs. All flying bugs. And yeah. you said offline mm. bugs. Yeah. Offline oh, whoa! All the bugs. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Do you... it. Any offline buggers? You brought the blicky. 
Okay, first point of contention or for, first bees, order of business. Though. That's my point of contention. I love bees. me some bees. Counterpoint, bees. Dude, bees are, good. Bees are Honey, terrifying. I Winnie hate the them. Bears. I'm sure there's, yeah, some circle of life. No, there's definitely an ecological purpose <laughs> for bees. That's like a crazy thing after the mention of bees. It's like, yeah, no, I guess like bees might be. Oh, bees, no, 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 oh. flies. Oh. <laughs> and other flying <laughs> bugs. Yeah. No, no, there's some... there's a purpose for all of it, I'm sure. Some some lame-ass soy commenter is going to be like, hey, son, you can't kill the flies. Flies are also They're like, I study, I have a PhD in flies. Flies are yeah. also <laughs> This is actually really problematic. I'm, I'm just, I just want to point out, flies are also technically pollinators, and there are certain types of plants that make themselves smell like dead meat to attract flies. Bro, oh, you bees. are the nerd. Okay, we Wait, have the nerd right here. didn't you just say you didn't know that maggots turned into flies a second ago? Yeah, well, I just happened? didn't know where they came from. I just knew, I knew <laughs> okay. the flies were pollinators. I knew, I knew. I know, I know a lot of I know flies, adult flies. I know where they come from. I know the, I know the, he's never looked at You're like a, you're not a fan of their fly. early stuff. Yeah. No, yeah, no, I, I didn't yeah. know. I wasn't aware that they had early stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, I sense. thought they just kind of showed up. That's, I never had thought about that either. So I guess it's not that shocking. Yeah. He mm -hmm. was confused that I was, I did not know this knowledge. Well, he's, he's, in, like, he's in with the maggot lore. Yeah. Yeah. He knows he maggot invested. lore. Yeah. I okay. think also if you like see enough maggots in life, you see flies next to them, and you can kind of put two together. I thought they were just chilling. They don't like, all just transform at once. Oh, the flies are just like yeah, just the flies like they are like out. yo, we're gross as fuck, and yeah. these things are gross. <laughs> gross Let's solidarity, hang out. yeah, yeah. Because like flies, what do they what do they do? They fucking land on shit, and then they land on your food. Yeah. So like, I just thought you know it's more of the landing on the shit category for them, where it's like yeah, I love this gross then, slimy larva stuff. Is this yeah. true? When flies land on you, they shit. I've heard that. Oh, I'm sure that there's. They I, might. I know that they eat. Pull that up, Jamie. Vomiting, and then the vomit melts things, and then they suck their vomit back. That's right, actually with their kind little of rock and roll. Yeah, with like, little, that's because we like do the same thing, except for we have the acid. Inside. We have the vomit inside us, bro. You are <laughs> well, literally making a better. What yeah. is this? My uncle used to tell me, March. That doesn't. This is my this is my blog. My uncle used to tell me that every time a fly lands, it poops. It turns out that's not true. But anytime they land on your food, they're more than likely throwing up on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Bazed. Yeah. Bro, you are making such a good argument to just eviscerate all flies, I think. We bazed. should figure out a way to like use robots to pollinate and then just Little little nanobots. Cut yeah, out the goddamn no, but flies. That didn't go dude. well in that one episode of Love Death Robots, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. It's a good series. Good, That's the uh, one where it was like it was on a different planet though, so maybe it doesn't involve us. Yeah, it's not it's not Earth, bro. Earth shit. Like Have you we seen can the figure series, it out. Love Death Robots. Yes, but yeah. I don't remember the uh, one that you're referencing. Aside from flies. Yeah. What do you Mosquitoes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you guys have going on here? I wanted to do a first order of business. Oh, first order. Are you order ready for this? Yeah, sure. We have to address the elephant in the room, everybody. For those of you listening at fan. home. <laughs> for those of you listening at home. This is not just Ted. Ted's been on the podcast before. This is Ted 2, as I yeah. like to call it. 2.0. This mm -hmm. is Ted 2.0. He is dripped out in fuckboy attire. Yeah. Um, Ted fuck boy attire. You're, you toe. can't say it. I'm literally, it's like Elwood Elwood. So now you're insulting your friend. Uh, I, yeah, I do know the, the guy who owns the brand. But listen, you're wearing very fashionable clothes right now. Thank you. But it doesn't end there. He literally has the keychain. Uh, well, I have these keys. These keys up. These keys have been part. I know, but now they are hanging. They are dangling. hanging because I <laughs> saw people do that. I'll admit it. I saw people doing it's that, cool. and that was like the cool thing to do. You look cool. I'll. In my defense, though, back in high school, the thing to do was to if if you to show people that oh you drove to school, your bar and your parents' car to drive to school. Like you would have everyone had a lanyard, and ah. the cool thing to do was like you had your keys in your pocket, but the lanyard was. Oh papering out of the out of the pocket and it was like i was one cool. of these guys little spinning little spin around the things yeah you guys ever leave the tags on your clothes to oh, that's cool? wow really the new, the new era hats the new era hats i would oh, lay i yeah. hated that shit i feel like the the would get itchy like on shirts oh it's it's definitely done as a status move it's not done for like there's no practical yeah. reason to I don't think I've ever done that. But I've forgotten tags and clothes. There's a yeah. lot of trends that I engaged in that were pretty wild. Janko jeans. Do you guys remember okay. those? those? I are had kind of coming Echo. Back. Yeah. Echo Unlimited. You were an Echo Dra guy. I was an Echo guy with the dragon pants that like wow. looped the the dragon looped from your butt. Wow. All now the this way is out of my depth. You're starting to throw out words I'm not. 
I wore like a big in the like you know the tall tees. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was big into tall tees, big into like three XL because it was like the two thousand three NBA draft or whatever. Everybody yeah. had some big suits. Yeah. Did you like, wear any Fubu? Oh, I, I, I wasn't a Fubu guy. I wore. Fubu. I always you wore Fubu. Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, for us, by us, bro. What, yeah, what bro, I was. I was in New York, physically barred from wearing Fubu. You guys no, are speaking in moon. You're forgetting right now, that I, I'm old. Turkish, and I grew up in Turkey. Oh. So there's no black people in Turkey. But I was like obsessed with American <laughs> you culture. Fubu. Bro, what is Fubu? That's kind of awesome. oh, you want to know some more? Jamie, pull that up. In like the late '90s, early 2000s, that was short for for us, by us, is black, black the brand. us being black. Yeah, and so it was very cool. Yeah. But we were f- forbade yeah. from wearing it. But it's in uh, the name. So, kind of like how Kendrick said so Drake can't I, use the I wore, word I wore FUBU. <laughs> like it us. doesn't stop there, though. You want to know what I did? I was growing up in Turkey, and I wore a Nelly Band-Aid to school. No! That's actually the I hardest am, thing I've ever heard you say. I <laughs> That's so cool. I've never heard this side of you. Yeah. Wow. And Do it's really funny. I, I never took a right I wore it one time, and I'll tell you why. Is, it, is that a Band-Aid joke? So... He said, nice. we're getting into some deep cuts. Double right. entendre. <laughs> Comedian. No, I wore a Nelly band aid to school because I thought it was so cool. Yeah, it's And hype. then they literally put, I'm in Turkey, so no one knows who the fuck Nelly is. Right. So they just looked at me and were like, do you have a zit that you're covering? Yeah. So I immediately took it off, never again. Did you have like other Amaribu peers? No. That you could like talk about American culture with? No. Okay. Like the Amerib, like a Weibo, like a Weeb, but for American uh, culture. Goes so, from Amerabu to I've heard you, that the I don't United know if I'm allowed States to use that term, but I've heard you Yeah, yeah I say yeah. Amerabu is a, it's, it's a valid term. Um, for me, I was really invested in like whatever the fuck the latest thing was. Mm-hmm. But like my peers, when you grow up on the other side of the planet, like obviously everyone's invested in American culture, but like they're following um, along like, with a, with a delay, maybe like a one or two year delay. Now that delay with the internet is like instant is, is not as bad. I need right? pictures of you wearing FUBU. I think there might be one. Hey, pull that up. Pull up there might be look one. Up there's a picture Google. of me that Can you exists. you look up on Google Hassan Piker wearing FUBU? Where I'm wearing a triple XL Wayne Krebet Jets jersey with sweatpants that are like eight sizes too big. And I think I was wearing Tim's too. No, yeah. I, dead ass. Dead ass. I, I, dead ass Tim's. I wore a white. I have my uh, sixth grade yearbook still, and I'm wearing a tall tee, silver chain, like very baggy pants, and <laughs> yes. like Jordans. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking I about. I wore a yeah. fucking Life Is Good T-shirt. And yeah, no, we know. Yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. If Ted turned around and was like, I wore a lot of FUBU. I yeah. was like, really? Yeah, no, you're like, I told you this. No, you, you wore Birkenstocks, when, Life's Good. When I first met like, him, no, no Birkenstock, but definitely uh, Life's Good. A little bit of Life's Good. When I first met you, I said, You look like you live in Vineyard Vines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, de- Vineyard Vines were definitely a thing in my, in my era. It was the berries. The berries. Right above the knee. The boat shoes for what? Salmon. Uh, salmon khaki shorts. Oh, oh yeah, me too. That I was like that. Frat tucked in. I had that. Uh, the tucked in Izod and or you were a frat boy. That's how people dressed in in, yeah, in Massa- like, suburban Massachusetts. In, in, yeah, in, yeah, at, yeah, at the frats at Georgia in the two thousand in the, in Atlanta in the South. Th- there were a bunch of these like very southern looking frat houses where like yeah. they would all be oh, on look the porch like plantations. And, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they would wear that outfit. Well, what's funny about yeah, it no, is that I always got outfit. confused <laughs> by how the southern style became to wear vineyard vines because vineyard vines comes from Massachusetts. Because uh, because of what I just mentioned is the it is basically like a clan robe. It's the hate crime. Don't attire. tell me that my entire style was a clan robe, bro. I'm sorry. You're talking about Massachusetts. What is the most racist state in in the North? Massachusetts. Well, in the North. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the North. So like they. So the <laughs> like just race separate, race can we just separate world. Boston from the rest of the South? Uh, Still bad. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know though. Of all of those pieces of clothing, racist well, against witches. Salem. Yeah. yeah women. <laughs> oh yeah. Women. I of all those pieces of clothing, the one that is the most baffling, and I wore them. Or Sperry's. Oh, me too. They're boat shoes. Uh, yeah. 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 How did that become standard I don't fare? Know. I, I never don't, was, I don't know. So, well, it was boat it shoes. It was boat too. shoes, and then it was it was the uh, uh, 
halfway up the the calf oh, yeah. socks. Oh yeah. Um, and, but then some people would wear them without socks, but they didn't understand how to do yeah. that properly. So it was like a bunch of high school dudes walking around with 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 stanky feet. Yeah. I I at that same era where people were wearing boat shoes, I was like a skater kid. Huh. So I was wearing like an element graphic tee. Nice. Oh my god. And like DC like spit, Spitfire jeans. DC yeah. I had the uh, the audio like belt buckle, like a huge Bro. belt buckle. Ho Do you remember the brand Hookups? No. Oh my god. Same era. Pull this up, Billy Ray Brains. There's a brand called Hookups. And Hookups was a skateboard brand that was basically famous for doing hentai on their clothing. Oh, okay. Before that was a thing. Yeah. That's and sick. I oh, had okay. every shirt from this brand. Oh and my I, god, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. It just I it clicked. Like yeah. the, uh, I, would, on the I had sweatshirt. one. I had one of their I would uh, go into school every week and every week my teachers would make me go to the nurse's office oh, they would wow. give me a dare shirt and i would have to give them my teeth and this was a weekly battle that i waged with my school in, this is so in sick I, I i had every hookup shirt the uh i i also rocked the um the studded belt Ooh, you know wow. the like three rows of studs like yes. a big belt big my belt goodness. buckle yeah and Were you, you an uh, and then kid? you also had the oh yeah and then you also you oh. you had to wear skate shoes, but then your skate shoes had to have like grip tape wear and tear so that you could tell you actually skated. I actually you weren't a poser. Did you fuck them up an on old purpose? pair. Uh, no, I, I I could skate. I can skate. I bought an old pair of skate shoes because oh. this is actually interesting. Watch this. Do you remember an Osiris D three? No. Pull that up, Bailey Ray Brands. I'm going to show you something crazy. Okay, I'm going to show you something that's going to What is that? Osiris D3 was the chunkiest of all skate shoes. Oh, oh God, I hate these. Yes, I, I do know yeah. this shoe. Now, this is going to blow your mind. Okay. Type in Lavin shoes. Oh. Lavin, la uh, in a different tab, in a different tab. Lavin, this high fashion brand, I ripped hate, the design I hate for Osiris it. D3s and made a shoe that is just an Osiris D3 that is like $1,000. Oh, Bro, my I, God can't begin to explain to you how much i hate the chunky laces yes. oh so now meta. go back to the yeah. d3 go back to the d3 i yeah. bought a pair of d3s and i just put the all black ones and i just put chunky laces in them and Yo. they are lavin i yeah i also disliked the one one lace like this type of laces you do where yeah. you do like just horizontal lines across wait marsh can you pull up the audio adio kenny anderson v2s Oh baby, A D I O. Ooh, I have a I have a Miami shoe that I I wore a lot as well the in my Kenny Miami Anderson days. Kenny Anderson V2s in black with like the caramel uh, uh, outsole. <laughs> that is so specific. Yeah, man. His dyslexic ass is not typing all that, bro. You're cooking him. Yeah. Oh yeah. That like Ooh, a one on the far right. Yeah. The, the one that's like black. Uh, if you go. Like X out of there. Oh, these right. shoes are so ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The far right with what the black. What are you talking about? I, I yeah. hated these shoes. Oh yeah, these, another shoe. These also had a rubber. They had a rubber toe, uh, so you you could you scrape flips. that against your. Yeah, I mean without, you scrape that against stuff. your. Uh, yeah, exactly. Other shoe from this era. Type in iPath shoes. Oh yeah. Do you remember iPath? I used to get CSS Magazine, which was <laughs> like the uh, this like. Mail order. Type in no skateboard magazine. I, I, type I in patch. eye patch. This yeah, is, this is like a quick time event for Marsh, where he's like having to do like, <laughs> yeah. dude, look at do those. this immediately and don't make a mistake. Oh my god, did, did any of you rock wallabies? No, no, that was wallabies. Those you guys want to know? Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm wearing now. I, I got the. Uh, they're not wallabies, but they're damn close. They're Clarks. The Clarks yeah. are back in style. Those are now. those are wallabies. Clarks, yeah, Clarks makes. Wallabies. I wear them now. Yeah, I Clarks, wear them now, and they're comfy as shit. Yeah, Clarks or the Pokemon Company sent me the Clarks Pokemon collab, <gasps> and I want to like those shoes so bad that they're so them. ugly. What size are they? Are uh, they the wallabies? Probably eleven. Oh. I don't. I don't know what a wallaby oh. is. Type in Probably not a wallaby. Clark's wallaby. That's a wallaby. Oh, yeah. The yellow boot. Oh, those oh. are so bad. Jarvis. Wait, actually, no, they don't look that good. These I, have, no, these are, uh, no, uh, so the next row on the left, the, those actually look kind of, those are what I have. I, oh. will, tra I will trade you any of my possessions. <laughs> I oh, wish they'd those are the so black ugly. One. That's like some shit Ludwig would wear as like not Whoa, even a meme. Just dropping strays. Yeah, that's crazy. Listen, 
Do you guys want to know? I like my wallabies. They're tan, though. The type Wait, what's a wallaby? Sorry. That is a wallaby. That is a wallaby. It's like a it's mixture like a between boot. a loafer oh, okay. and a moccasin. But it has like mm-hmm. a really thick gum sole that is like almost geriatric in how comfortable it is. Mm. This is actually really interesting. Clark's wallabies are an old man shoe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Except, except for one exception. Ghostface Killer. Whoa. The Ghostface Killer fell in love with Clark's Wallabies. And he exclusively wears Clark's Wallabies to the point where he has his own Clark Wallaby. And so he basically single-handedly That's cool. made wow. Wallabies oh, yeah, these are like a piece wallabies. of New York hip-hop culture. That's cool. That's actually a very cool story. Yeah. Do you know why LaCroix went from being like a Midwestern mom drink to like a... a that I don't like know. Because that was a thing. Like... um. Is this a genuine question, or do you have the yeah, answer? Yeah, no, I don't know the answer. But it, oh, but it, you uh, you presented that like you were. I about thought you were about to blow that because no, Ghostface Killer actually drank something the first Lacroix. <laughs> something about the film industry, because I knew it was it's a meme within the film industry. Mm. Lacroix as like a on set it's, thing. I, I unironically fucking love Lacroix. Yeah, I do too, I, and it it bothers me when people don't like it because it's like I, I actually like have a it. problem. I'll go through a case a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. I was my favorite one is the key lime flavor. I like the regular lime. So fuck you. The well, fact I also that like the key lime, lime and lime, and then there's What's orange the and tangerine. Well, because like the they key really lime like, yeah, is it's like it's like a party. It's okay. like <laughs> it's, it's oh, like going God. to Boca mm, Raton. That's right. <laughs> you got to like, slip on your Sperry's. It's like what Margaritaville wishes it could be. Okay. That's Whoa, what a key coming lime from you, you, you are the you are the expert. Well, I mean, uh, you know, we, it's one of those things where you know. There's the idea that those rep- restaurants represent, and then there's the actual functional process of being in one and eating the food. I would love to go to Margaritaville with you. Yeah, let's go to You're the, the Universal. We'll go to the Universal City Walk. Let's one. Do, oh, what are we doing after this? I'm We're going to Margaritaville. Flying to New York. What time? Oh, immediately? Yeah, pretty much. You're you're half asleep. We have to stop doing these after your your what? stream. No, I'm not. I'm pointing the finger. Look at you. What, what do you, you mean? I wouldn't let you drive a car right now. <laughs> no, I'm perfectly alert, you're bro. Oh, I'm, a I'm, I'm suffering I'm from slumber. Australian jet lag, and this guy's in less shape than me. I'm on three hours, baby. That's right. I did two hours of Peloton today. Wow. I'm not slow. Oh, I, re- I re-broke my rib during I'm, a, I'm talking one of my streams. So I haven't been able to work out, so all I can do is Peloton bike. Oh, I, I was talking about how much sleep I had, not how much did I was Peloton. Did you get a Peloton like, during the pandemic? Or yes. Like, my girlfriend did, and I'm the only one who uses it. The f- because all I know is that the Peloton stock was like hella inflated and then it crashed to like. Do you know the nothing. story of why it crashed? Well, other than the, the fact that like no one, everybody. Because went COVID's work. over. This is an incredible story. Okay. This is an incredible story. Have you ever heard of Sex in the City? Yes. Yes. Okay. One of the main characters on Sex in the City is a guy named Big. Big was in the movies, he was in the series. In the Sex in the City canon, in an episode, he has a heart attack uh-huh. while riding a Peloton. And literally all of the, the over the Venn diagram of women who watch sex in the city and use a Peloton is almost one for one. Right. And that was it. No way. Dude. Look it I, up. I, I, def, I definitely Look think it it's up. also connected to being overinflated during yes, the, I during think, the I think pandemic. Jarvis like is right. Like everything that people else bought it. Like oh, people no, bought but the like stock, the way that people delivered it, I people, believe people overinflated 100%. it because they were like, this is going to last forever. This business is, you know, how people are going to stay fit in the, but I well, do, that's I do all remember fell in love seeing with our that. instructors. I, I thought that's what you were going to say. I thought you were going to say that like it's because they they no longer they have a process of no longer. Shares of Peloton higher. fell eleven percent. Right. Thirteen after. Right. But a key character in HBO. No, I don't think you're lying about that. Oh, However, okay. So it wasn't the original Sex in the City. This was the Sex in the City revival. My friend yeah. Katie worked on that set. So wait, oh. Marsh, if you pull up, uh, your friend if you pull Katie up Peloton stock Peloton. and then yeah. go she to five the, year, f- the yeah, camera. You will well, see certainly it was declining. No, 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 no. But Look, that was the coffin no, but nail. Like, that's that's eleven percent. But then, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, and then it just starts plummeting. It's the beginning of the but end. But it's also the time that we all like started going back to work. Damn. And, and Peloton, gyms Peloton opened back stock up. is By the way, lower than it closed. was yes. before the pandemic. Their stock is lower than it was why, before. The- why don't you want to believe my catchy? <laughs> I, no, I think it's. I'm investing. And also, 
if uh, if I'm a a day one hour one watcher of Sex in the City, yeah. I'm shorting that stock the yeah. second I see that heart attack happen. I think it was so bad. Sex in the City like apologized and like ended I up did having remember to do. Seeing, like, the story. I just can't imagine that someone in charge of their marketing division would have let that happen on a show. Like it's like you know we want to have Peloton in your show. Well, they might have paid. Another good example of this. Do you know that share or, or sales of indoor rowing machines or home ergs. rowing machines, ergs, went absolutely fucking ballistic after Sex in the City, House of Cards. Oh. Because he's always using an erg. Oh. That's cool. And it probably just. Those are sick. Oh, I, told I, people I love rowing was. machines. The only reason I know what an erg is is because there was a city rowing team. Like, there was Gainesville area rowing in my hometown of Gainesville, Florida. Were you a Gainesville rower? I wasn't, but I had friends who were. Ah. Uh. And, the, it, but I had a lot of friends who were. And so I would just learn a bunch of stuff through osmosis about rowing that I didn't want to know. Were like you the person a rowing who sits, groupie? Sits in, yeah, I fucked all of them. <laughs> the person who sits in the front of the boat is the smallest person. They're called the coxswain, and it's spelled yes. coxswain. Yeah. It's also connected to why they stopped doing the analogy um, SAT questions. Because. Uh, uh, yeah, what's it called? Is that that's an analogy when it's like this is to this as this ah, is to this? Yeah. Um, they 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 like called them out. Like there is people who call those out as classist because ah. who the fuck knows what a coxswain is or coxswain? coxswain. That's how it's pronounced. I but, do, but it's but and it's I wore boat shoes. Yeah, that's the thing. And this it's is so did everyone at Gainesville area <laughs> rowing. Exactly. Uh, Get off your phone, slut. I'm, I'm looking for uh, podcast topics, but it's mostly... Wait, we got one! Coxswains! Get involved! Did you guys know about what, a, what a coxswain is? Yeah, what's a coxswain? I don't know. I'm Turkish. I dead. just got here. He's dead. dead. We just told you yeah. what it was. He died, man. It's a, it's a rowing thing, isn't it? He's, he's context This is his podcast. He's context yeah. loose, though. I it is a rowing thing. It's the short guy on the yes. team. Hey, it's true. Talked. We just talked The about short him. guy on the team. But the light, like the lightest person. Yeah. Light is smallest because you they don't want to tip the boat. Yeah. Listen, I have a and topic. they've got to yell. They yell. They keep everybody in um in, in line. So I know you guys don't watch our podcast, but on our podcast from time to time, I, I, I have watch. a segment called America Me Up. Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming of Fear and folks. This is your co-host austin show of the fear and podcast here with a very special news bulletin i know you may be enjoying a wonderful wonderful episode but i'm here to remind you that there's a brand new show on the patreon called the what are we calling it advice show with austin show where i give you advice and it's phenomenal and there's lots of people involved and guests and all sorts of cool shit this is not i'm not selling it am i i had to interject here folks because nobody in this episode, remembered to promote this particular segment after I told them to do so. Um, so I'm here to give our first ever mid reel advertisement on Fear And. So go check out the Patreon. It's there right now. There's a number you can call to be a part of the advice segment. It's for tier two patrons and higher. We love you. You're the American middle class. The backbone to this country. And we always appreciate you. We always appreciate you. And happy Mother's Day. <laughs> happy Mother's Day to all those wonderful, beautiful, natural working mothers. I love them so much. We need more. To, we need to do more for our mothers. We really do. That's right. There's nobody here to respond to me because I'm alone in this podcast studio. It's very depressing. I broke into Hassan's house to film this. I am imagine most of this is going to get cut. I imagine most of this is going to get cut. I think all of it's probably going to get cut. What else do I need to say? But on our podcast, from time to time, I, I have a segment called America Me Up, where I teach Philistines that are typically my co-hosts about the joy of being an American. Mm. And so I show some of our most important and most uplifting moments in American history. Last American Me Up was literally about like you do this a massacre. The mistake and, on the Lake Balloon Crisis? Yeah. Yes. A, a massacre caused by balloons. Do, I, do you do this every, every episode? Yes. Did you ever do talk you prepare about it beforehand? No, I'm just ad-libbing right now. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, I would have believed that you you were just you're just no, like no. dipping your little your finger into your in your basket no, of no, general no. knowledge of which you have a lot. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 That's he, fun. He, well, he is a lore master. Special, he's I prepared a, lore master a special one just for you. Oh, you did not know that Ted was going to be on this podcast until literally. Yes, I did. You could sense because my you delayed the pod a fucking hour. You penis. Oh, he called you a penis. That's, That's not a fun rough. thing to be called. That's, That's like rough. a coxswain, but just mm. without the Wayne. Yeah, 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 without all. I'm just the, the, uh, the worst coxswain. Look at the size of him. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. It's like I'd a coxswain, but less though. convincing. Yeah. Well, listen, Ted, you're a man who likes tradition. You like your animatronics. <laughs> You like, a, the tradition is a dubious word. Yeah, yeah. I love you, tradition. You suggested as far that, back like, as we can listen, go. Listen, we already established where you're from. Yeah, yeah. we already okay. established I'm, I was wearing the clan robe of yeah. Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah. My man, my man just wants to live in the in the 1830s, but without all the races. Yes. Right. But with everything else. You and know, the Irish were oppressed as well. <laughs> yeah. Classic Massachusetts talking point. <laughs> I I'm also a man of tradition, and I always try and tell these other ding dongs that our traditions are what make us great. Okay. Okay. I'm I also want to teach them about football. Ooh, football tradition. Okay. okay. I don't know if you know anything about <laughs> the third team in New York, the Buffalo Bills, but they have some of the best football fans in the world because mm. they're like constantly losing, right? No, they're actually they've been pretty was good the recently. Recently, yeah. Recently, but they're, like yeah. historically, I thought they were. There was like a girl a named Mary Kate who I went to high school with, who was really into the Buffalo Bills. Yes, and that's where I that's where I learned. Yes. Now, do you know what Buffalo Bills fans are called? Lil Williams. How did you know that? No, that's not at all correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I would have been really confused. <laughs> The Bilbo. Will, okay, yeah. I got one. The Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, the Billy Bulls. Bust no, it's Buffy. the Bills Mafia. Oh, You've yeah. probably heard this term before. Yes. Now the Bills, Bills the Bills Mafia are famous for dealing in extremes. They will jump off Doesn't buses sound like a mafia. through tables. They'll set themselves on fire. What? They'll, oh yes. Self. Immolation for a real political cause. Yeah, the bills. <laughs> like, yeah, what? yeah. Um, How often are they doing that? Every fucking Sunday. So there's so someone who sells someone is like <laughs> every <laughs> Sunday. Every Sunday. Just like that's a that's a serious problem. It's like a uh, you find out that you've been chosen to self immolate. There was. Jeez, you that's Bills, crazy. Bills Mafia high Every high. Sunday, someone has to die. <laughs> and you know that like the, there was at least a couple Buffalo Bills fans that were that had really strong opinions it, on self immolation. Just, just take recently. a look. Just take a look. Just take a look. This is. Is he gonna? There write? he is being thrown for a flaming table. Wait, what? By a that woman. actually is fucking self -immolation, hard. Self immolation. Yes. That, no, it's not self immolation. No, that's well, like he is assisted. emulating himself. Assisted M M now that's a tour bus, probably 10 feet tall. He's screaming and bang! Oh my god, yeah, absolutely shatters himself. And he just fucking pops so off. So, what do after. people in Buffalo do for a living? Like, what does that guy do for oh, a well, living? They eat wings, uh, yeah, I mean, probably construction or uh, they sometimes wander over to Niagara Falls. <laughs> yeah, there's these, a lot of tables now. Pause, these, I don't want to give anything away. All of these folding tables, they're just Folding on the yes. scene, which is very funny. Now, there are a lot of famous fans within the Buffalo Bills mafia. Wait, really? Yes. Oh. Because they are so adamant in their support. Who the fuck is... Oh, oh, you're saying... Yes. These guys are famous Urban in the fandom. Legends. Within the fandom, yeah. But there is one that soars so far beyond all the rest. Okay. And his name is Pinto Ron. Marsh... Type in Pinto Ron. What does he eat? A lot of beans and fart. Dude, got him. He dude. doesn't do anything him, so dude. crass. If Pin, if he doesn't do anything so crass. Is he Please pull up a video of Pinto Ron. What he does. I'm hearing cat. There's white people as far as the eye can see. This is what Pinto Ron does. This is Buffalo. You'll see in a moment now. There he is. There he is. They they beckoned him like the horn of Gondor. Why is there so much Heinz ketchup? I'm just, about to find just, out, I guess. Yeah. It's a ritual. There he is! The god himself. Are they gonna, gonna bukkake him with ketchup? Just watch! <laughs> Sorry. 
How old is he? Pinto Ron's been doing this a long time. Oh my God. Now he does this before every home Bills game and he goes to the game <laughs> like this. He's, you see how he's got the burger? He's, yeah. he's he says, pointing. give me some ketchup. He's like, I need some ketchup, please. Now watch how a hero is born. <laughs> Communion. I hate that I was right. <laughs> Hassan's face is the best thing I've ever seen right now. We're on some red ropes. What? <laughs> oh my god. Looks like a Cronenberg. Film. He's but guys, guys, he doesn't he only has ketchup. Oh they god. forgot to give him mustard. Show him the mustard too. <laughs> Dude, this looks like a scene out of the fly. Yes. Brings it back to flies. Now there are many legends about Pinto Ron. Is he gonna eat it? Ew. Wait, now, oh, they're dipping him. You, you wanna yeah. know there are some amazing things. Oh! Yeah, yeah, but I it looked like somebody put the like dipped his mustard into the shot before oh, he took it. For sure. It's they're taking communion. Oh. Like in the Catholic they don't Church, deserve you to win. eat the body of Christ. Body. I see. You've yes. got to eat the body of Pinto they Ron. They deserve to lose. Now, the, now, some interesting facts about Pinto <laughs> Ron. Pinto Ron. You're quite con contrarian right now. I just. I. By the way, it's funny that you just said some interesting facts on Pinto Ron, as if we didn't watch a very interesting fact <laughs> about him. Well, you got to know about the man now. Right. Yeah. Please. Pinto Ron drives a Ford Pinto. Uh, drives a Pinto. That's Fuck. awesome. But he's modified the front of it so the hood of his car is actually a grill. That he can prepare food on at a tailgate. Oh my god! Whoa. Wait, so when he drives on the highway, he just gets like flies and mosquitoes I don't know on how, the grill. Okay, I don't know sorry. how he does this. Okay, okay. You can you can pull that up Surely as well. There's a now, cover. Pinto Ron's yeah. name is Ron. Ron. No, Kyle. It's not Ron. They actually got his name wrong in the newspaper the first time they reported on him, <laughs> and he tried to correct it. But Bills fans were so adamant that he was now Ron that he goes by what's Ron. his name like Harold. Pull, you can pull up the story of Pinto Ron now. I want to show you guys this video. But this man keeps this tradition alive. Do you know how long the tradition's been going? I think it's at least five years at this okay. point. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was going to oh, be like so. 40. He's like, wait, hold up. He's like. 55 years old so he started doing this thing when he was 50 well let's let's look at the story here of pinto ron the legend of this is an official bills uh, yes YouTube channel. By mail channel. Rochester, New York. his name is ken, ken johnson that's what i'm saying no his relation name is not pinto ron they got his name wrong in the uh, newspaper ken johnson, ken johnson. yeah i've been a bills fan since the day i was born this is my dad i've probably been to around 600 bills games there's the I pinto started this tailgate shenanigans about 1989. oh there oh, you go wow okay over the course of 10 or 15 years five miles. years i always try to look for some unusual way to do something after i get back from work is nearly full time after work getting all the coolers and buying all the food and such it takes me a couple hours to kind of set up on saturday where i get most of the stuff pushed around i'll be back out here tomorrow morning uh at six o'clock in the morning, finishing up. There's the Pinto the grill. Car, I got six grills. We used a stewing pot and put an army helmet in it for wings. We got a saw that we uh, sizzled bacon on. I got a hubcap for stir fry. We got a rake for hamburgers and hot dogs. Oh, that's great. We got a pizza going in a filing cabinet. We got a rim from an Indy car. We'll do sausages and ribs and stuff on there. We got a pizza we'll going in the filing cabinet. Oil pan. Wild sentence. We got a mailbox that's going to be done by jerk chicken. We got <laughs> mustard shenanigans. It actually started one time when I needed some ketchup on a burger. And my brother was sitting there with some ketchup and he shot it about oh, 12 inches. I was like, whoa. And it evolved into what it looks like now. What the fuck? Yeah. He is a fucking hero. You think he hates it, Loki? No, he loves it. it. What if he secretly hates it and he's like just cursed? Ugh. That like for the rest Ugh. of his life he has to do I wasn't ready this. to see this in 1080p. I never 1080p. Went out of my way to try to attract attention. 
It's just that some dude, and it's the the beard the keeps it all in, so it like becomes yeah. part of his. It looks like it Hassan, becomes. I a, hate your take that I, he doesn't want to do this. I hate it so much. Let me tell you guys. Here's the lesson. Pinto oh. Ron does things his own way. Yeah, and he is not dissuade by the world around him. He's an apostle. Tradition. And because of his adamant love for tradition, bills. He has a fan. Fans that love him. And he makes people happy. How? By taking hot bukkakis right in the face. Of ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Well, I, here's the thing. So I, simple. So beautiful. I agree. And I think that even recently we see this in the news. Of people, people love, you seem surprised, but it's going to make sense. People love those who will step up and do some sort of egregious activity yes. with a large amount of food. And I'm glad you like said that. the guy who went to that park in New York and ate all those cheese balls cheese wearing, ball, the, man. wearing the balaclava. Which is our oh, next okay. topic. Hold. Which is our next topic. Hold. But you brought up a good point. It makes people happy. That's why I wanted to ask a question. You, you of brought up that Hassan. point. No, he, he, he said it makes <laughs> okay, people happy. Before he said it, you definitely said that. But I, I want to ask Hassan Piker. Did he mention it Hassan earlier? Piker Oh, that it makes people happy. No, but you said the thing about spectacle. Yeah. yeah. Well, no one hates football more than Hassan Piker. That's not true. I no one care. hates football more than I just than don't Hassan. care about it. And he, no one hates my team. Jets more than Hassan. That's not even true. They're the Muslim team. I and for the Jets. Are they the Muslim team? He knows yeah. that they're one of the worst teams in the NFL. I do. And that's why I challenge you, Hassan Piker. Okay. To a bet. Wait, what? Oh, gambling is haram. Mohammed Salah would it's hate the that. the New York Jets. That's his name, right? Uh, the Robert the Salah. Footballer? Yeah, the coach of the New York Jets. Mohammed, Mohammed Salah is the footballer, right? Robert Salah. Robert he's, Salah. He's a Lebanese Muslim man. It's the New York Jets. Coach. Win the Super Bowl this year. Okay. You do a Pinto run. But if they don't, I'll do a Pinto run. Okay, but like... So you just want to do a Pinto run? Like doing that a Pinto run. You want to do a Pinto run, but like I already have a... like, like a Pinto Haram. friendship, uh, uh, homie handshake agreement that if the New York Jets go to the Super Bowl, even we if go. they don't win, that we're going. Yeah, and guess what? And we're tailgating. If they win that game, we'll be there. For you to do a Pinto Ron live okay. at the stadium. Okay, I'll do it, bro. Yeah. Hey. Wow. There Are it they, is. Wait. So, okay. So Will's gonna do a Pinto Ron. <laughs> yep. Is this like a? Is this is just this year, or is it in per perpetuity? No, this is just this year. The uh, the other one, the perpetuity. standing, the long standing one is like if the New York Jets go to the Super Bowl, like we I'm buying the tickets, yeah. we're going. Yeah. But you brought up our next topic. You jumped. Well, the before horse. we, well, yes. I want to jump back in on oh, the Jets. You want to jump back just in? Just real jets. quick. Yeah. How do you feel about having the same team as Gary V? Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to mention Gary V as well. No. Yeah. Oh, He's that's a big Jets so fan. bad. Gary, Gary V's whole Gary V's thesis yeah, is that he wants to be rich enough to buy the Jets. Yeah. Yeah. Which he kind of definitely, surely. No, 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 no he's, he's not. not. No, you need no, to be a billionaire. He definitely is not. Can I, can I retort? <laughs> sure. Can I retort? Yes. If Gary V bought the Jets, he, he would, would probably be oh. <laughs> he would probably be one of the least problematic owners. Oh yeah. The oh, NFL. Oh, for sure. I was ready for you yeah. to say that he was gonna be like the Elon Musk of football. No, I mean, I'm just saying, like, listen, everybody's got fans that they're proud of, and everybody's got fans that they're less proud of. Yeah, I was just curious, you know. It's not gonna affect my fandom. Oh, of course. He's I'm already dealing with yeah. the fact that <laughs> he's got Aaron Rodgers. I had Rogers. to burn my fucking Vax card, you know? Wait, were you doing a Gary V impression? When you said I <laughs> like, like, yeah. Really, you hit the Gary. Wait, why'd you have to burn your Vax card? <laughs> a solidarity. Out of solidarity with I Aaron Rodgers. I also have to vote for JFK Jr. <laughs> no, RFK. RFK Jr. Sorry. After his brain worms. Oh. Yeah. No, no, that's why you have to vote for yeah. him. Oh, okay, yeah. Because because the brain worms actually made him a woke man. <laughs> right. I'm dialed in. Tradition. Pinto Ron. Will Neff. See what I'm saying? Destruction of yeah. Vax cards. Well, and Aaron I think Rogers. I think that he definitely hits. Home with, I mean, I'm surprised that you're not a Buffalo Bills Hitting fan to be baseball, honest. Ted. So, so I don't. I have Damn a, I have you. a belief. I have a belief because you're definitely the kind of guy to jump through a table. I have a belief you probably that have. you all the time don't get to choose what team you're a fan of ever mm. in life. I think that anybody who has chosen a team to be a like fan of, like the hospital you're born at, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is so stupid. You 
my hands a little sweaty. I've been holding so, this gun. You're so dumb. You're born into your team. <laughs> You're like you're. It's so funny because it's the Jets too. It's just you're stuck. Where were yeah, you? Well, where listen, were you born? Listen, you don't claim your birthright, Galatasaray. You think I don't know? No, I. I would what be more of a Jets. That fan. is the Turkish soccer team that he was born into a being a fan of. No, and he denied you. them. No, it was fan out about you, but I denied Dude, that. It sounded like you brought out the most Eldridge name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it sounded like Galatasaray. Yeah, that was no, actually Galatasaray, Galatasaray like the enemy. from the planet of Zorg, where you hail. Galatasaray is the enemy. It's actually fun out about you. My whole family's fun out about your fans. Like my dad draped me in that shit when I was a kid. And, and he just, denied his birthright. I fucking hated it. He denied like, his birthright. But no, but I would be, my birthright would technically be as a New Jersey born child, I would be a, a Jets fan. Yes. Well, that makes things a little bit complicated. Come well, home. No, well, no think way. about this though. Yeah. For those who have lived for tens and tens of years, also known as decades. Um... <laughs> Me there adding, are certain like, there are word certain, count to my essay. There are certain scenarios where that could be really tough. <laughs> <laughs> and furthermore, in this essay, I'm going to be talking about. Yeah. Now. Um, like for instance, uh, my I think my uh, I'm 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 about fifty percent sure on this. I think my grandfather had a period where he played for the Brooklyn Dodgers. What? I think I'm not sure, or maybe he played for like a different team. Something in Brooklyn, though. Well, that's your birthright. No. No. What? It's, yes. Because, so then where was, was your grandfather was... born? My, my grandfather born? Where were they born? Germany. So what's the football team in Germany, then? They don't have one. Well, I I'm was not born in New York. They well, were too I wasn't born in New York. <laughs> they were too busy doing some other stuff I'm in the Germany Pats, baby. The I'm the Pats. <laughs> I'm the Pats. Pats play football. Brooklyn yeah, Dodgers play baseball. Do. Well, because what I was about to say is that the what Brooklyn if your team moves, he's saying the Brooklyn Dodgers. Where are the Dodgers now? They're in Langling. Langling. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. what do you do? You fall. If you're in a Seattle there? SuperSonics fan, what Listen, do you do? Obviously, there are exceptions. <laughs> to the rule. But the, yeah, I'm just wondering. My does it problem, carry over? My problem. I'm. I feel like I'm being. With, you know who I'm talking about. I'm being crucified for asking a question. Listen, listen. You're not who I have an issue with. Oh. I have an issue with. You remember when? Me? Everybody in the world was a Golden State fan. Hmm, yeah. That's crazy. When did that happen? Remember, but now State that what? everybody is a Kansas City fan. Oh, I'm, 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 still a, I'm still a Golden State fan. But in my defense, I lived in San Francisco before the dynasty. That's fine. Yeah. This is fair. But because you, it was very weren't exciting. Weren't you just a little bit pissed off when everybody started wearing I'm, your shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the, I'm the worst. I actually got pissed off that I have to explain that. No, no, no. No, no, no. But from before. I was like, when they, when they yes. won it the first time, I was like, yay, yes. first since and, the 70s. And that's what I'm saying. The Jets, long have we suffered. Long have we suffered. You mm. would love it if there were bandwagon the Jet fans, Jets? which means... Which no! Would, which would imply that the Jets are winning. They, they're gonna win. They're, <laughs> what's the mascot of the Jets? A Jet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like a plane? <laughs> yeah. I think, isn't it a blimp? No, it looks like kind of blimpy. It's a jet. It it's looks, on the helmet, bro. It looks like a blimpy ass jet. No, the Jets do not have a mascot. Pull up the New York oh, Jets helmet. Oh, bro, what are those that's two? on the FAQ on the website. You don't even know about the Jets, dog. That's the jet above the the. Look, it's on the helmet. No, up. That's up, a football. That's a there, <laughs> click that. Jesus oh Christ, God. Marsh, right there, right there. Go, oh my God, right there. Here! <laughs> yes, this one, this one. <laughs> that's the jet. You see it? It's above the name. Well, that's a that's a curve. That's a plane. Uh, at best, it's a Concorde, bro. Which are not even being made. Bro, Their cheerleaders you are called the f flight crew. Yeah, listen up, big dog. Turns out they don't even have a that fucking mascot. That would be pretty fucking awesome if a giant. Uh, anthropomorphic jet came out and started doing a little dance. <laughs> well, we do have an unofficial mascot. <laughs> His name's Fireman Ed. These guys Let's look teach like you about tradition. These, Fireman Ed. Okay, these guys look like they're celebrating 9 11, bro. What's happening here? Well, a lot of them were probably first responders. If anyone's celebrating 9 11, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> this is Fireman Ed. Wait, what? Fireman Ed is our Instead unofficial mascot. Steel Beams joke? Oh, it's Steel Beams. Fireman okay. Ed is our unofficial mascot. He takes his hat off. Does this and everybody goes? Oh yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of a lot of football teams have a guy. Does he ride in on a motorcycle too? 
No. Because half of them do. Why you say that? Yeah, you say that what? like you know all Listen, of them. Listen, you... Because I did a podcast recently where we went over a bunch of mascots. Why? The Vikings, they come in on a on a motorcycle. There's uh, there's this one He's guy. He's had it. He's done with there's, these there's fucking mascots. There's one mascot. mascot where it's just like an old guy. It's like, uh, it looks like Ebenezer Scrooge, but I don't. I it sounds re- like you're describing a dream. You yeah. have. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> but I'll tell you guy. one thing. The Jazz Bears, <laughs> <laughs> that bear does not look like a bear. It no. looks, look it up. up. It looks like a koala. Yeah. Or maybe it's the Sun Bears. Have you guys, well, have you seen the Jacksonville look Jaguar? The has kind mascot. of like, he's like. Yeah, think- pull this thing up. That yeah. thing, look at that top left one. Top oh, left. That's a fucking fuck? koala. Bro, what? that looks yeah, like a, a bad bear. That's like that, not a jazz bear. That looks that does not look like a No, take that thing away from the kids. <laughs> bro. I was about to say, oh no, he's got a baby. That, that's that, a pedophile that, that, bear, bro. Oh, you yeah, want to see a fun that's mascot? literally we made Japan the same joke. has great mascots. That picture came up. Japan does have great uh, mascots. Like there's like city mascots in Japan. Yeah. Uh, if you Google melon bear. Oh yeah, city oh. mascots. How about Mel- Chitan? Melon bear. Meron Kuma. Oh, wow. Yeah, it eats children. That thing's a nightmare. It's oh. fucking terrifying. It's still cute. Oh, not there. Never mind. Yeah. That, I, I, like, uh, I went to, like, uh, I was in, like, Akihabara a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, horrifying. <laughs> it's the funniest. I, I feel everybody wants, like, a photo op that's like that. Uh, I, you know, like, you can buy, like, a mystery bag yes. at, like, a, yes. a store. And I bought a mystery bag, and it had a big melon, melon bear. bear pillow. And then I was like, what's this? And then I looked it up and was then horrified. But then that became my favorite thing. Yes. Because I didn't choose my team. He doesn't does represent right. a sport. What city? He gets it. Uh, I don't know. He gets it. I remember the Tradition. name of the old guy. Tradition. Look up Deacon Mascot. Oh, yeah. Look up uh, Mascot. And oh, the Demon Deacons. Demon Deacon. Look up that mascot. He's it's a- like the Fighting Irish's like, Bizarro World trend, twin. Maybe. The demon look deacon. him up. Look him up. De- demon deacon mascot. <laughs> this is the most March but, yeah, episode yeah. we've it, had. It's awesome. No, I love me. Ma- work. I love watching. Look at this motherfucker. Yeah. This is Eb- this is Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> oh, what that the guy fuck? looks like he should be on a peanut. They just can. and he comes out on a motorcycle. See what I'm talking about? They <laughs> all come out on motorcycles. His full art. He's doing the fighting Irish. Look, I mean, look at him. This he is a, like, an aristocrat yeah. that they have brought out on a motorcycle. He's like historically a villain in I most I was going to go to that school. I really wanted to go to Wake Forest. Uh, oh, I didn't know what, what school it was uh, from. Uh, yeah. Georgia it, we, Bulldogs. We brought in mascots without context of uh, who they were. Uh, and we tried to guess their name. Um, and why don't we do stuff like I, that? I mean, I have a good one for you. You ever heard of the San Diego Banana Slugs? Yeah. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Well, only reason I know well, pull is it up. I want to see it. I've my, never seen it. One of my friends in high school would wear their shirt. Mark their shirt. Well, pull up the San Diego, San Diego banana, banana, slug. banana slugs. Also, uh, I, just, I right don't even one. care. I just like making them work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was gonna say while you're looking that up, the Georgia Bulldogs they have a bulldog. Oh yeah, as I know mascot, this motherfucker. But it's a live well. bulldog. Yeah. I know and so this motherfucker. So it constantly dies, well. and they have to have a new one, and that's insane to me. Same thing with the Texas Longhorns. They so, bring a Longhorn oh, into the stadium. Amazing. So, Will, you were offended on the fact that I Florida knew this Gators guy. We had a whole a segment of the podcast talking about this motherfucker. This guy is the worst. He looks like an a- and we didn't he know he like was those, a slug. He's a slug. Those, uh, we didn't know that when he first showed oh, up, though. Yeah. Pull, pull it back up, Marsh. <laughs> take a look. Take a look at that without and remove the context of it being a slug in yeah, your it mind. It looks like the claw. It looks From like Toy an Story. alien. Or I would like, have ruined this it's segment because I know all these masks. Yeah. It's got the mouth of a ninja turtle. Yeah, and like it's it's confusing. Um, would you pull up it's gross. a video, a YouTube video? <laughs> The Jacksonville Jaguar mascot. This, this is a great mascot because he was a very normal mascot. And then I think he might have taken ayahuasca in his personal life. Mm. And he's gotten really experimental. <laughs> when, when, yeah, well, when, when he shows up. It looks like he's not wearing half of his costume. He's not. Oh, he just painted his body and put insane. on a, a G-string. Wait, why does he look like that? I th- I think the real life person just took a- a hallucinogens and really changed his whole vibe. It would have been sick if they actually brought in a jaguar. Um, as far as cool. good mascots go, shout out to Albert and Alberta, the mascots of the Florida Gators. They're not mm. real Gators. 
They're just people in gator costumes, and they're cute. Yeah. Ooh. That's my hometown. I think, so that I think your mascot needs to be badass. I think if it's like some lame ass shit, like it sucks. Like What's the more badass than a jet? We bring it's death so around the fucking planet. It literally sucks. There is a there is an Australian. What has killed more people than jet? Uh, nuclear bombs. But who delivered the nuclear bomb? The, Not a jet. It's a B fifty two bomber. A different jet. Different type of uh, aircraft. But listen, <laughs> dude, he got is, you. He got. There is actually a. There is actually oh, literally a team in Australia that I that I got the merch of that has a B fifty long cats. No, the B, they have a B fifty two bomber as their mascot. Oh, which is or not a B fifty two bomber, a stealth a stealth plane, like a stealth jet, which I thought was really weird because they don't even make them in Australia. Yeah, and even the fucking jets don't actually have a jet as their mascot, which always is. They, they have a jet. Rub me the on, How do you feel about way. the fact that the New York Knicks are named after pants? Knickerbockers. I actually had this conversation with Cutie, and she like winced when I said Knickerbocker. Oh, because you got too close to the N word. For I her. got too close to the N word, and she had never heard the word. That's funny, Knickerbocker before. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sounds like a. You do take a breath before saying it, though, to like prepare to make sure you don't fuck it up. It's yeah. like the word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to do some enunciation. Well, that's like people get theater. weird when I say the N word just because I don't say it a lot. Sure. Uh, but say I right am now, black. Uh, but what I am going to say <laughs> is a word that's going to lead <laughs> that you great lead you almost there, which is niggardly. Yeah, you can't know. Oh, yeah. I, I've taken that out of my vocabulary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, we really Is we that what literally you've taken eliminated Meaning that it used to be in it? Uh, well, I never used it. I never used it. <laughs> no, that's. You that, know, the other one that I just bro, don't I use. I forgot about that word. Yeah, like, that, crazy we word. literally Is eliminated that, a real, that yeah. one, like the 2000s. What, what, you know what it mean? You know what other word? It means cheap. I've totally taken it out. Right? It means cheap. Okay, well, then that's probably a derivative word. Doesn't it sound like it's racist? That I've completely eliminated. Renege. Oh re yeah, well it depends on your accent. It's not reneg. I say reneg. Yeah, but, reneg. But no, 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 no. But like regionally, people say that word differently. Yeah, I think because Wait, I've heard people say. Can you look up the word that sounds like the M word really quickly to make sure that I I'm not going to say it? But I think it it means cheap. I think it's either but, cheap or well, slow. reneg is like is is to take back yeah. something. You're not going to tell you here. Oh, I got it. I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> we we can't have that on our browser. Wait, what? Yeah, you. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's the etymology that I'm actually interested in because I think the etymology is also racist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Um, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's a, don't worry, guys. I can say it. Uh, niggardly, noun niggard, is That's an adjective. Even worse. Ad, yeah, it does look wrong. It looks extra racist. Like, it's, <laughs> it's more racist than hard Because you're adding more because this like, is, letters on the is original. Like, this is wrong. It feels like the root form of racism. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it is an adjective meaning stingy or miserly. Is yeah. it miserly uh, fucked up, too? Like, well, uh, also, the usage of ARD makes it sound like it's combining with the arsler, too. You, you wanna okay, well, that's just you're a child. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like a combo. Like a, like a, like a flame retardant? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some guy, some guy I'm, on I'm, 4chan invented I'm, this. I'm not, I didn't mean to call <laughs> Yeah. Gosh. No, you no, wanna, you wanna no, no. Crazy the damage is Related done. to this word and its <laughs> racist etymology. Well, okay, hold on. Uh, oh. I will say it, yeah. Uh, it's 14th century. Oh. And it derives from the Middle English word meaning stingy, uh, <laughs> which is, again, I don't even know if I'm saying this right. And also Middle English doesn't, I don't think it pronounces the way it looks. Because mm. uh, I had to read Canterbury Tales in English class. Mm. And we read it in like Middle English and then we read it in like the translated. And that shit's weird. Anyway, Nigon, Nigon, which is probably derived, I don't like probably Wikipedia, but I guess we don't know, <laughs> which is probably we assume is derived from two other words, also meaning stingy, namely Old Norse. No longer. Oh, wait. So it's not racist at all. Well, it's from the 14th century, <laughs> but I, I think it, I think it's what like. What was the Old Norse word? <laughs> you want to give that a go? I maybe don't. Wait, I want to see. Let me see. Let me see. Where it shouldn't be, it's nogger. It is. Let me see. Let me read that. There's letters on there yeah. that don't yeah. exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely a, there's definitely a hanazel. That's yeah. like huh. this. That's just what. It, that's just the sound of getting hit in the stomach. Yeah, yeah. it's just like. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's it. That just says, Pah! but it, I, it could be one of those things where the Pah! modern N word has a similar, I don't know. I, I remember 
right? Because Donald yeah. Glover has like a joke about this in his stand up. Hmm. But I and I remember looking it up at some Love point. Love that guy. And I can't. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah, it's just a, it's an autocorrect joke because he goes, "Say it, iPhone." Um, he goes, <laughs> "Niggardly." <laughs> um, but uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, this is turning into Comptown, dude. This I think, is a good episode. I think mm-hmm. maybe I think maybe they have diverging etymologies, but I don't know. So maybe there's someone like who's an expert who can explain. What yeah. is the what is the etymology of the N word? I don't want to look it up. Yeah. Okay. Let's not do it. It's my people's pain. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy that like as someone who's always talking about how white people should say it, I have never looked up the etymology of it. Mm. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Well, I I'm, guess I'm on we'll the opposite never know. Side. I, I think it's. Doesn't it have to do with just like all the Spanish words for black? Well, that does make sense. The f- maybe, but you know, like English is a hodgepodge. Of yeah, a bunch of different. Yeah. Like, so it's like because like Spanish and French are all romance. Yeah. But then there's like German. Got it. You know, and then Which like is English just like, and like, apparently just, fucking Norse. Old yeah, Norse. Old Norse. Yeah, Spanish and French are <laughs> romance. <laughs> German, <laughs> it, German I is did not violence. To read the word nogger. I don't even know. I don't even feel comfortable with you saying that. And we're looking at a word <laughs> that isn't the N word. <laughs> Like, but it's not even a word. It just I'm sorry. It no, doesn't it even does, like what? Is, I, it's it, just not. Well, yeah, because it's one you, of those things a, that doesn't a, even read like a word. If you yeah. saw those letters together, you'd be like, "Oh, a cat walked over I the keyboard." I read that perfectly. It, it, it's pronounced like this. Yeah. Before we end the episode, though, we have to read the Wikipedia sub article called yes. "Controversies about the word niggardly." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we could do that. Uh, this is relevant. Okay, I will say. In the United States, there have been several controversies involving the misunderstanding of the word niggardly. <laughs> An adjective meaning stingy or miserly because of its phonetic similarity to the N-word with a hard R, which I'm, I don't know, I'm just choosing not to say. Yeah. An, an ethnic slur. <laughs> Kendrick said I can't. Um, I, that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> an ethnic slur used against black people, although the two words are etymol- etymologically unrelated. Yeah. I remembered correctly. Uh, yeah, because that comes from the word nogger, <laughs> which is totally yeah, separate. Yeah, uh, apparently, uh, yeah, this word uh, niggardly arose in the Middle Ages, predates the N word, uh, which which is uh, from the 18th century. Oh, you know, you know, you know some kid's going to high school tomorrow, there. and he's going to be like, "Well, actually, they're not related." <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. actually, but, but the etymology it, doesn't line up for me to I be feel racist. Like, I feel like it literally, we actually stopped, you, like, it wasn't a word that was, like, used I've that much anyway. I've never heard anyone say it. No, so. but I remember that this was, like, a, like b- by the time I was, like, studying for the SATs, I think, like, that's when the word was, like, we're, yeah, we're, we're done, done with, with that it. word. Can we, oh, my God. Guys, what, do, I know deeper? we have to end. It goes deeper? But the, well, I have to tell you about the David Howard incident. What's the David Howard incident? Yeah. America, yeah. me up, baby. Yeah. On January 15, 1999, David Howard. The an day aide, before my birthday. An aide to the mayor of Washington, D.C., Anthony A. Williams, used. I'm going to stop saying the word. I'm tired of saying it. <laughs> used that was, that was the, the word the that's not the N word in reference forward. to a budget. This apparently upset one of his black colleagues who misinterpreted it as a racial slur and lodged a complaint. As a result, 10 days later, he tendered his resignation and Williams accepted it. After public pressure, an internal review into the matter was brought and the mayor offered Howard the chance to return to his position. The mayor got involved. Yeah. Uh, Howard refused but accepted another position, insisting that he did not feel victimized by the incident. Uh, on the contrary, Howard felt that he had learned from the situation. Damn, that's wow, like kind of what wow. happened to politicians Wait, like that. Wait, this is a great lesson. Hold on. This is a quote from the guy who resigned from his position after using a word that wasn't the N-word. <laughs> but this is interesting. I used to think it would be great if we could all be colorblind. That's naive, especially for a white person, because a white person can afford to be colorblind. They don't have to think about race every day. Bro, this is the and most African- woke politician in America. Yeah, it's 1999, and he didn't Bro, even Bro, nowadays, if you say it, they're like, oh, you're hired, actually. Yeah. They're like, oh, let's make you the head of the wow. RNC or something. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Oh, Jesus wow. Christ. No. I'm, you know, I, I'm, I, I, I would say I have it's to say, wise to stay away from the word because of yes. all of the obvious reasons. Yes. I'm, I'm a little peeved about something. All right, tell us. 
And it has nothing to do with what we were <laughs> talking right, let's about. Let's call this Ted's rant about the N-word. No, <laughs> why no, it has I say nothing it? to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> the well, whites I, no, say it. Black no. people say it all it the was time. Just, it was just, you know, we were talking about football for so long, and I, I had an opportunity to put this in, but I know we're ending the podcast soon, but I just wanted to talk about it. I watched uh, Australian football when oh. I was in Australia, and I think that you would love that shit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They dribbled the ball. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, you know, <laughs> which, I, which I, I just thought I just wanted to talk about Australian football with with Will, but Hassan just kept interrupting yeah, me the whole right. time, and yeah. he kept trying to say like the half N word. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, all right, we had to and, cut so much. The, the podcast is actually an hour and forty five minutes, but we had to cut can, all the time. There is one more topic I just wanted to bring up for a second. Okay, because well, can I talk? Well, we if planned, we got time, can I talk about it for a second? We plan to talk about it, and no. you brought it up. Cheese, oh, the cheese ball, ball guy. Man. Have oh, you yeah. seen have you seen Cheese Ball Man yet? Hassan? Yeah. Yeah, he's doing the same thing that the rotisserie chicken man did. That is true. Okay, and that's a that's a deep cut, even though it's like a year ago yeah, the guy did that. Rotisserie chicken guy good. He did that at a at a he pier, though. He did so that at that, a pier. He walked so that Cheese Ball Man could run. Yeah, I'm yeah, honestly I'm surprised how well Cheese Ball they, they must have had like some serious boots on the ground to get all those flyers out. For those of you who home at home who don't know who Cheese Ball Man is. Cheeseball Man is an anonymous hero who, mm. in Lincoln Square Park, uh, put up flyers everywhere around leading up to the day of uh, him eating an entire tub of cheese balls yeah. to a crowd of hundreds. Now, the shocking thing is he's lactose intolerant. Oh. So the event was brutal. Wait, uh, really? I, yeah. I don't think those cheese balls actually have real cheese in them. Well, it, he, it's, I don't know. But anyway, he wears a orange. Baklava, baklava, balaclava, balaclava, and a cape. <laughs> and let me just say, people love him, and there people are already looking forward to Cheeseball Man's return yeah. next year on the same day. Honestly, those fingers are probably not going to be cleaned until next year. Yeah. You know what's crazy too is that after seeing that, I'm so content brain that I was like, that would have been a. Yeah. Okay, look this up. This is a commercial that's going to blow your fucking mind. YouTuber wants more. It's to be able to do some sort of social experiment thing and then be able to open the video with fucking news reels talking about the yeah. thing. Yeah. Look you know up. What I mean, Jarvis. Yeah. Look, look up uh, Doritos he Glory spent Hole. Spent a week in VR. Yeah. What did I, I? I almost did something. Jarvis, you are me. sweating darts yeah. right now. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a really easy sweater. I talk about this a lot. I have yeah. hyperhydrosis. Shout out. Um, I just sweat. There a lot. are literally dozens. Of us. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. <laughs> okay. Here, I want to show you this in honor of Cheeseball Man. Here, mm. this is a real Doritos ad from Australia. So it, it's oh. combining everyone's interests here. Huh. Uh, touchdown. Yeah, it only works with Doritos. Why only Doritos? <laughs> Why you only asked Doritos? Too many questions, Billy. Oh no. You. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's oh, so gross. That's awesome. Yeah, oh. that's what Cheese Ball Man needs well, more than anything the, else right the, now. The, she had the Doritos glory hole. Yeah, gentlemen. The theme of today's episode was tradition. No, mm. the theme of today's episode is no girls, which also goes along with tradition. God, I feel like I didn't get to talk about a stream for far enough, though. Come the, on. The, the theme, theme of today's episode it. was tradition, and much like. Pinto Ron or Cheese Ball Man or words that we choose not to use anymore. Fear End has become a tradition for us, and we really enjoy bringing it to you. And this episode has been a delight. Thank you to our <laughs> guests. Guests, do you have anything you want to shout out other than Australian League? So it's football. a circular field, okay? It's yeah. a circular field. They're all, all the guys on the field, huge thighs. They run for probably average 15 miles per game. They they run and they have to dribble the ball if they run too far. But then also there's four poles. One points on the sides, six points in the middle. They got to hit it through. They're running like the whole time and but the field's also circular and uh they've got uh they've got pretty solid beer there. It's it was like a 90,000 right, now you're talking about person stadium. Concessions. It was a good well, I mean, it's, 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 that was where I was I mean, I wasn't involved on the field. I was mostly yeah. involved in the concessions and that's where my game was. But uh I don't know, AFL. It, it's not like rugby and it's not like American football. It's like their own thing. Yeah, and if you were if you didn't yeah. live there, you wouldn't fucking know it existed. Yeah. Anything uh 
Just want to shout out my podcast, Sad Boys. Yes. Uh, we've had episodes with Hassan. We've had episodes with Ted. We got to have one with you mm. soon. Mm. Um, mm. It's, it's. Don't even bring that up. You've been on Chuckle Sandwich. I have not. Yeah, yeah. Oh. See, this is funny. So you're mad about not going getting on on Sad Boys. This one's been bitching to me for six months about not coming back on well, Chuckle Sandwich. Not funny. Enough. He wants to shoot and kill me. Look at him. He's using. He's waving that. You've been goddamn waving that thing my around. my blood pressure. That's why yeah. I'm sweating every time you wave that around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this week. Uh, very special episode with Cutie Cinderella and I behind the paywall. Thank you for everything, and we'll see you next time. All right, Michael. Let's hear Michael's voicemail. Here we go. Hello, Austin and guests, potentially. Um, All right. Yeah, thank my you. Name is Michael. I'm having a hard time figuring out what the best way to do that and also what the best way to approach someone who I don't already know, uh, women in this case, as oh, a man. Uh, but to do that Shit. respectfully without being creepy. Oh, fuck. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I know you have a lot of expertise in the field, so let me know what you think. All well, right. Thank you. Well, Michael, you would be wrong. Uh, I have not approached a woman really ever. Um, and Marsh said we thought Will would be here, and that would be true. Um, and, you know, we're learning. This is on the fly advice with Austin Show. Sometimes Austin Show has shitty advice. And this may be one of those particular situations. No, but let me get serious here. 